Hi guys, welcome to my channel and this video is going to be about my journey at Columbia. So for those of you who don't know me, I did my undergrad from Delhi uh, and then I did my masters from Columbia University in New York. I studied computer science there. So I was scrolling through my phone and then I had so many videos. Most of them were my Instagram stories because at that time I didn't have a YouTube channel. Uh, but I thought that I'll try and compile them and um, get something out of them so that you, you guys can live that journey with me. And I can relive it as many times as I want to because it'll be on YouTube now. So the video coming up next is the first video I took in America. We live all the way downtown. That's Empire State Building, which is in the beach. Mein udhar, jo tower hai. But downtown is World Trade Center. Hai. So we live all the way opposite World Trade Center. Us, uske bhi us side of it. So the first thing I did was uh, I went to my school um, and just checked out the campus. It was so pretty. The one thing that I liked the most about Columbia was the gym. Although I'm a very lazy person, I don't really go to the gym, but the gym at Columbia was underground and was huge and amazing and it had like those banners of all the Ivy League schools which made you feel like special, like you know, you're part of those schools and I don't think that it matters uh, in the end, it doesn't matter what school you go to but if you're there you just feel happy and proud about it. Thinking about the New York vibe in my initial days, I used to listen to the Empire State of Mind like on loop. The next step in the journey was trying to find housing because master's students usually don't get housing. So I had to like look for a place myself and thankfully because I had a place to stay, I was staying with my mama. So I was not in a hurry. So I spent like a good one month looking for pla looking at so different, this is the different kitchen apartments and, and just trying to find yeah. like no, no, one they, they're gonna put the countertop they're gonna put new sink new stove in the refrigerator they either they're gonna clean it or they're gonna put brand new uh, refrigerator yeah. okay applications how many days three I days three days i think and this is so lit up shivani it just it's not gloomy this is the living room one room so after I finalized my apartment the next was just chilling because my mom was there for like 10 days so we decided that we'll like at least um, cover the nearby areas we'll I went to the Niagara Falls and then we went up the World Trade Center we saw the Statue of Liberty those basic touristy things <laughs> But when people see my stories on Instagram or like, you know, my posts on Instagram, they were like, he, um, she doesn't, what is she doing there? Is she not studying? And when does she study? So I was like, uh, so I was like, if I'm studying, I won't like pictures or videos. No, I would just study and not post. But um, um, school was really hard. I won't lie. 
and uh, especially because for me uh, i feel like i didn't pay attention to like one or two topics in undergrad and that literally killed me because i had to basically brush up the whole undergrad syllabus and then also study for like the masters things um the way i tried to balance it out was i think it's unhealthy and my mom would be happy when she sees this video but uh, i was like i really want to go out because i'm i'm in new york and i cannot get bad grades so i decided that i'll study like i'll do all nighters four nights a week and then it became like a routine it became kind of normal for me to just go back back home at 6 and if i had some energy left then i would make sure that i check out like a cute coffee shop before i head back home the next step in my journey was learning how to cook so i didn't know how to cook before i came to college in america and here i think here now i've become a proper chef i can make all the sabzis and i can make pasta i can make chinese food but <laughs> it took a lot of time and experimentation to get there but i kind of enjoyed doing it so we used to go for bollywood movies uh, at times square and uh, i didn't miss any movie as uh, pratik kohar came to new york and we went for his concert as well also i think being in new york is a uh, really good in terms of job opportunities because uh, i used to attend a lot of these tech conferences and one time i even got to host one dina to take this conversation ahead and let's start something priceless i love her <laughs> i absolutely love her thank you I can't sing on command yet. I need time to prepare. They are working on vocal inflection and timing software for me so that I can sing on the fly, but it will be a while until it is developed. <laughs> and one crazy thing that happened was I got to attend the Met Gala after party. On college night at the Met. got the passes to it is kind of weird and thanks to again tech and social media so um i don't know why i was just randomly following like a lot of designers and their pages on instagram uh, and uh, then i started getting ads from instagram like you know buy this buy that and in between like one of those ads uh, i got an ad saying register for college night at the met What? What? And uh, then it was like a legit form I filled in. I had to like you have to give your college ID and and things like that. And then I called my mom. That mom, I might be able to go to like a Met after party. Can you please send me like my address that I wore on my birthday last year? And uh, then I asked her to send me like some weird headgear, like whatever is at home. so she sent me my dress and this white headgear and i got ready and i went there alone i was like okay i might not know anyone there but i'll go there and try and talk to people and try and be friends with them so i went there alone and uh, i did not regret it it was so cool <laughs> of my college journey was my internship 
So my internship was in California and I got to explore the West Coast. This is also special because uh, that's where I met my boyfriend. And if you guys want to know more about my Colombia journey and uh, would like to see like more videos and more stories, then visit my Instagram page. I have everything in my highlights. And I hope you like this video. Please, um, please like and subscribe to this channel.